Hello everybody. So today I'm going outside. When I built my house, I poured a concrete underground storage room out into the back of my property into the hillside. And I had a lot of people think that was kind of weird and ask all kinds of weird questions about what's what's out there. Well, I think it's kind of a generational thing. And I'm 50 years old and Everybody that's 50, their grandparents all had, my grandparents called the root cellar, a fruit cellar, a lot of people call it. And that's all this is. There's nothing too special about it. So I haven't been out here for months. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I put some potatoes out here a year ago and uh, we'll see how they stored. I, I really don't know. I, like I said, I haven't been out here in months and I've got another sack of potatoes. So I'll rotate the stock a little bit and see what it looks like. So I come in here to my storage room, there's my potatoes. What I did is I stacked cardboard between them and they did not work. They're growing like crazy. I don't know if it's getting too warm in here. If somebody else looks at this and sees, let me know what I'm doing wrong. I think it's gotta be they're getting too warm. Um, it, I got a thermometer in here. If you guys can see that it's about you know, 35, 38 degrees, and it was, um, below, you know, close to zero last night. So I think it must be getting too warm in here. Um, I don't know if I got to insulate this better. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Nope, that's my food storage video for the day. I hope somebody watches this that knows what I'm doing wrong, because I, I truly don't. I'm going to have to keep experimenting with this, because I thought that if it stayed between about... 35 40 degrees and about 50 degrees that that was good storage for potatoes but obviously not and then potatoes are growing like crazy so i'll just have to throw them away but um i put them out here it's been about a year ago so anyway thanks for watching please comment let me know what i'm doing wrong see what i can do to help me thanks